Hello everyone, welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today is the July predictions. Can you believe it? We are already entering July soon. I feel like I say that every month. Can you believe it? Time flies, but it really does. But honestly, I feel like July is going to be a really transformative month in a positive way overall for the collective. I realized I was drawn to all these decks today. They have moss, butterflies on them. I've been seeing that symbol around a lot. I saw a bunch of butterflies on my walk this morning. I just feel like there are a lot of transformations happening this month. So what they are, we will find out in our readings today. <laughs> so we're going to have three groups like usual. We're going to draw a card together using this deck here. I did lay out a crystal for each group. So this will be group number one, group number two, and group number three. So if a crystal is calling to you right away, you can just hop on right over to your reading. Otherwise, let's draw a card for each group. What's going on in July? What's going on in July for group number one? We have the three of hearts in reverse. What's going on in July for group number two? Queen of Clubs. What's going on in July for group number three? Queen of Hearts. So here are our three group selections. Maybe it's the number, the colors, the card, the imagery, the crystal. Just really go with what feels right. I always like to just list some things out to help you. You can always look at the timestamps below as well. Pause the video if you need more time, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome, group number one, to your July reading. So right away can see um, some of you in this group, maybe you've been feeling lonely, bored, but definitely a lonely feeling here. There's going to be a transformation in July with your, with your love life, with your social life. I feel like you're moving from a state of loneliness, feeling like you're in the void kind of, into a state of love with this rose quartz here, feeling more self-love, but I feel like there really could be new friendships new relationships coming into your your life this month. And to be honest, I feel like this is really a collective theme that we're, I'm reading for. Um, but for sure, like this group, I feel like this is something you guys have really been wanting and needing in your life or realizing that you do want relationships in your life. And maybe, you know, sometimes this card in reverse can talk about like filling the void of loneliness with like drinking or other bad habits or anything like that. Um, so I feel like there is a transformation here too in July for group number one where you are um, developing more hap um, healthier habits, letting go of some habits that aren't so healthy, and focusing on love, on relationships, on bettering your life. So I really see positive transformation coming in that way for you. Morgan, let's move these to the side here. So thank you so much for being here, group number one. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. Spirit, what's going on in July for group number one? We're going to start with the one Norman. I like to do this with the predictive readings. Okay, first card out, we have the bouquet. I really do feel like there could be a date or an offer of love. Look at, okay, yes. When I saw this bouquet come out, my first thing was like a, a date offer or like a gift from someone, but like an offer to date, even though that's not traditional meaning of the bouquet in Lenormand. And then this man card came out and he's holding a flower. And I feel like there's definitely something here with a love offer, a date, a new lover, or a deepening of a loving connection that you have in your life. But I feel like for a lot of you, especially if you're single, um, you could be, your dating life is improving in the month of July. You are going on dates. There is 
definitely a masculine. This could be, for most of you, this will be the person that's um, coming into your life. Or it could be you. But there's definitely this masculine energy here. This feeling of romance in the air, getting out of the house. They could even bring you flowers to your home. You could be really like beautifying your home in the month of July as well. I feel like you could be inspired to really um, work on your home, your environment. And I feel like this inspiration is coming from a new connection in your life. Um, you're, you could really even be motivated through this connection to improve your work. It's like you're feeling happier and inspired and before you were just doing things on your own or just cause and you weren't really inspired to, to declutter or deep clean the house or to spruce up your workspace, whatever it is. But there's someone in your life that's like exciting to you. And also you, you know, you want to um, have things looking neat and going well um, for them as well. So I feel like, yeah, there's something here with a new relationship coming into your life that is really really inspiring you and again for some of you this could be friendship as well doesn't necessarily have to be love but it's a new connection here I feel like that's really yeah overall bringing the vibes up in your life really making things yeah just you're gonna be so motivated to clean the house to improve your life to move forward. I feel like there could have been this energy, you know, that you're coming from or maybe like things, it just felt like there's all these problems, trials and tribulations. You're like, why do things keep not working out for me? And just kind of in this darker space, maybe even a spiritual awakening type space. And you're coming out the other side in July. Mm -hmm. Wow. And look at, we have a queen and a king here and ace of, of cups or ace of hearts. There is totally... A relationship that's a focus this month that is for sure oh my goodness <laughs> love that okay oh my gosh I just split the deck like this and there's marriage and male um, commitments are relationships are so a focus this month wow we'll see if those show up again but that is definitely something to take note of what's going on in July for group number one we have um, toil and labor and this one I do feel like taking in reverse I, I feel like you're not feeling like you're working so hard things are lighter things are brighter in July I don't think you're focused on work I mean I feel like you could be a little bit I feel like you could be doing better at work you know but it's not like it's harder for you um, and I feel like because you're in this more upbeat emotion and you have, you're, you have other things going on in your life outside of work that's really uh, uplifting you here. And then we have unexpected income. It did come out in reverse, but I don't feel like this is super negative, though. I just feel like you're not as focused on money. Um, so you guys could be spending money to spruce up your house to get like new clothes for your dates, you know, um, you could be working less, but I feel like you're investing money into your home, into your appearance, into your dating life, into your love life, into your social life. Um, and I don't see that as a bad thing because I feel like it's really making you feel a lot, a lot better. You know, you're feeling a lot happier. There's like a change in the energy coming from like a darker energy here. Not really, you know, the lonely, like just blah energy. Yeah, you guys are coming. I feel like you've been in this feeling of imprisonment, like always home, always by yourself. Wow, there's a lot of people cards coming out. You're really moving from this energy here, yeah, of feeling stuck at home, feeling stuck at work, feeling stuck in your situation, stuck in this downward spiral or just down negative energy. You are coming out of that. And it's all because of this relationship. And I feel like the main female the female card came out. And look, she's also holding a flower. Um, to be like, the gender does not matter here. It could be any gender. You know, it could be a masculine. It could be a feminine, binary, whatever. Uh, Non-binary, I mean. It does not 
matter spirits clarifying here but there's a new like relationship coming into your life maybe even multiple for some of you that is really getting you out of your funk and it's going to inspire you to change other areas of your life as well yes this is wonderful i i feel like this is like the energy you needed coming into your life <laughs> to get things going again when you just about stuck yeah all right, let's clear these cards and get some more for you. What else is going on, Spirit? Let's go through these. Then we'll get some astrological energies as well, some tea leaves, some tarot. What's going on in July? The group uh scavenger hunt 32 what you thought was hidden is hi hiding in plain sight oh you know like this person that is becoming a part of your life could already be around and you don't even realize they're there or like they're just like close in your vicinity right now um Insects. Vigilance is necessary at this time. Heed the warning. Okay, number 21. And then we have rewild. 29. Let your soul's garden grow wild, settling yourself, setting yourself free and allowing mysteries to surprise you. Oh, hi, Emmy. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're feeling free. You're feeling free here. I feel like you guys have kind of been in this mode, like maybe you've been hurt in the past or things just been negative, you know, haven't been great. And you've been in the, maybe a negative energy a little bit and just like thinking everything's bad. Spirit's like, have fun, be wild, get out there. Get on the, like the hunt in the wild. It's like, you know, if you're wanting a relationship, like put yourself out there, get out there in the wild, go on. Um, I feel like these, it looks like they, they're holding like phones and walking around. I don't know, like maybe like being on dating apps. There's even apps for friends now, but getting out there, you know, I feel like there's someone that is very close to you. Like you might be like, oh, there's no good guys, no good girls, or whatever. No people, single people in this area, whatever. but there are people that are around you. You just haven't um, put yourself out there or you haven't been in the place to meet them, whether this is online or maybe just getting out of your routine and um, doing things differently, going to new places, putting yourself out there, having more fun, not being so um, overly cautious or like, or um, like being more open-minded to who these people are that you, you know, it could be someone you would never think that brings all this joy and happiness, but you're feeling really free. You're feeling amazing in this month. And then we have summer solstice 35. Like the sun, spread your ray of light and ignite the light in others. I feel like you are just shining so bright and feeling great. And look at this connection here. Connections are the theme. They are the theme. We don't have as much filming space today, so we're just pulling certain cards out at a time. Let's get some tarot out. Is there anything else going on in July that group number one should be aware of? What's going on in July for group number one? We have the nine of spirals, which is the nine of wands, the six of stones, which is the six of pentacles. And then we have the three of mirrors in reverse, which is like the first card we had coming out today. Let's get three more. Oh, I love it. Temperance, golden flower. Things are really coming into balance in your life. More moderation as well. We have the Three of Stones in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Ten of Spirals on the bottom here. I think most of these, this is in frame for the most part, right? Mm-hmm. 
So yes, there is this energy of going from loneliness, having a lot of burdens and worries, troubles on your mind, maybe not feeling emotionally happy, to bringing more balance, more healing into your life, more people in your life. I feel like you've been doing everything alone for a while, carrying a lot on your back, just, just, yeah, just a lot of doing everything. Even if there's people around you, I feel like you still feel like, like you don't have the connections and you still have to do everything yourself. And maybe that's based on past experiences, but in the month of July, you're really realizing that you too need other people. And I feel like you could be really healing anything that's been keeping you from letting people in. And now you're going to be really, um, like, you know, putting yourself out there and through that, you're going to be reciprocated. Like there's going to be more people coming into your life. The work you put into it, the attention you put into your social life, that amount of attention you're putting in and energy you're putting in is what you're going to get back. And I feel like there is definitely, definitely some relationships here. I feel like it really does seem like all kinds of relationships for you guys. I mean, this is a general reading. Right off the bat, I was feeling romantic, but I know this is friendship for a lot of you as well. It could even be finding people to collaborate with work, to do art with, to do music, whatever it is, you know, just having a community. This is a month of finding your people, finding your community, and not realizing you don't have to do everything alone. You don't. So um, we do have some Sagittarius energy and um, water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, we are entering, are we in cancer season now? Yeah, cancer season. So that could be just more confirmation here. But let's get some astrology cards out now to see what signs are relevant this month. Maybe this could be confirmation of your sign or the people coming into your life or further messages. What astrological energies are important in the month of July for group number one spirit? We have Neptune, so more Pisces energy coming through. And Aquarius. So Pisces and Aquarius energy, and then let's see what's on the bottom here. And then we have Scorpio. There's definitely a lot of watery energy here. So yeah, um, Pisces, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Mm hmm What else is going on in July? What else do you want to say to group number one? You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yes, you are. I feel like you feel like you haven't been. Oh, I love this is one of my faves. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yeah, you've been on a long journey. You've been on this path. And now you're going to, you know, you don't need to go on this path alone. And I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. You know a lot um, I'm gonna move this from what you've been through. I don't know. But you, you're really coming out the other side. It's the end of a tough cycle. And now you're wiser. And now you can have healthier relationship, healthier life overall. Things are really um, moving in the right direction for you. Group number one. What else, Spirit? <laughs> heart love deep affection and caring you guys this is the month of love for real there is so much love coming in and i feel like it's so needed i feel like there's been just this loneliness epidemic i've been there too um and it's time for us to let other people in to find our people you know because whether it's online community, but in person, all of the above, we don't need to do this all alone. And I feel like, you know, someone's people are really coming into your life, but it's all starting when you start to believe that you're worthy of love and that you want love. Cause I feel like a lot of us, um, will be in this state like, Oh, I don't need anyone. I can do it myself. Everyone sucks, you know, whatever. And that's not true. You know, that's like a defense mechanism. Um, and we're really letting that go this month and we're going to let people in and we're going to heal those wounds and there's just going to be so much um, positive growth, especially in relationships, especially for group number group number one in the month of July. Now let's wrap up your reading, getting an angel number, an angel message. Spirit, what final messages do you have for group number 
one. Let's find the messages for July. Twenty twenty. Wow, I, I you know what this made me think of. A lot of people have been really lonely since this year, especially. But anyways, um, twenty twenty. Compassion, mercy, diplomacy, potential, service, recovery, adaptability, renewal. It is a confirmation that your assumptions and beliefs are correct. But it's also encouragement to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. <laughs> Be of service for others. Your potential is enormous. Wow. We did have Aquarius come through, which is um, humanitarian energy, and we have that here. So some of you guys may even um, meet some people by doing some sort of um, diplomatic humanitarian service work. Uh, that could be really great. Even in recovery, um, some people, you know, this is very specific, but maybe go to AA or, or therapy groups or something like that. You can meet someone through that or by helping other people who have been through similar situations as you. That could be something that is highlighted here this month for group number one. But this is a confirmation. What you're feeling is right. And I feel like a lot of you are feeling like there's change coming. Do you feel that? I do. I feel like there is change. I'm starting to see it in my own life, but I feel like it's going to keep going forward. I feel like we're really, you know, we're all connected. And I'm so I'm sure a lot of you are feeling that, especially the people I read for. You know, we're all connected. You're here. We're all here for a reason because we're all connected in our energies. But um, what you've been feeling is is confirmed. There is change coming. There are people coming. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there, to open your heart to love, to get out of your comfort zone, and be compassionate with yourself. You know, I think a lot of us are hard on ourselves, like, oh, I should have, I should be in a, I should be married by now, I should have friends, I should have this, I should have that. Be compassionate. We're all on our own journey, and you're on the right path, group number one. And I love you. <laughs> I do. And I feel like this is going to be a great month, so... Um, I hope you're feeling that as well, and I hope you have an amazing month. I hope this reading resonated, you enjoyed it, that you got the messages, the insights in the month ahead that you needed. Uh, if you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. Uh, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There is a code for my YouTube friends uh, down below to save 11% on your first reading. It's abundance in all caps, but that'll all be down in the description in case you want to check it out or pass it along to someone else you think will benefit. Thank you again for being here, group number one. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much. Have a great month, a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. So you chose, I believe this is obsidian and the queen of clubs so i was saying this in the beginning of the last reading but collectively there is an emphasis on transformations in our relationships there are relationships that have been highlighted in recent readings and definitely in this july reading here uh because you chose the card queen of clubs this represents a person so you have a people card and this is typically um a woman this could be someone with dark features but someone who's really helpful, um, gives good advice, who's really there for you. It's going to be someone protective. So th there's just an energy here of a good, positive, trusting relationship that is highlighted this month for you. And it could be a, a feminine energy. It does not have to be here. But for a lot of you, there is, this could even be confirmation of you. But there really is a deepening or, of relationships or relationships coming into our lives in the month of July. I feel like it's, um, for you that maybe this could be more like friendship focus, but we're going to see what else comes out. It could be in any area of your life, but there's definitely a focus in July on relationships, new relationships, transformation within current relationships, but expect, yeah, a relationship heavy, like relationship focused month in a, in a really positive sense is really what I'm feeling, but let's see what comes out for you. Group number two. Thank you so much for being here, by the way. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. Let's start out with the Lenormand, like usual, with predictive readings. What's going on in July for group number two, Spirit? We have another queen card here. We have the um, path. Fox. 
and the star. There's going to be multiple options here, especially if you're single, there could be multiple options in love. But no matter what, you're really moving up. There could even be um, just options with work. You're getting a lot of clarity. I feel like you're realizing what it is you want, where it is you want to go, and that's helping you take forward action this month. Um, the fox, this could be like just working really hard. Sometimes this can represent like a, a sexy man <laughs> um, or woman, you know, person. Take Whenever I say him or her or whatever, just take what resonates with you in your situation. Uh, let's see what's on the bottom here. We have the coffin. This is the end of a phase for you, a fun, an end of a phase of life. And really what I'm sensing for a lot of people, this is the end of a phase of life where maybe you were um, just working really hard, not feeling really satisfied, barely getting by type energy to now getting clarity, being hyper-focused on what it is you do want and making choices, moving ahead, leveling up in life, leveling up in your relationships, and also leveling up in your um, career and what it is you do for a living. Because I feel like you're leveling up in two areas of your life. It's the end of tough times. Like we have two nines here, which is endings. And another queen, another person card here. But this the, this is like success, clarity, inspiration. The star card, you're really getting the insight you need on how to move ahead and not to struggle. And what the struggle could be in any area of your life. Um, but it's in, actually in two areas of your life relationships and career for most of you but it could be relationships and something else take how it resonates to you like finances but it could be like career and finances kind of grouped together um but yeah it's the end of that tough period the end of a phase of your life and you're leveling up in multiple ways love that for you okay let's get some more cards to get more information for you What's going on in July for group number two? There could be a change in occupation and relationship status. I, we're going to turn these around. Um, spirit's confirming <laughs> that it's work in relationships for you. It's the end of a bad relationship, a bad job for some people. But for most of you, this is just like, you're leveling up in some way. You're getting clarity on what it is you want to do, how you want to make money. You're getting clarity on how what relationship you want, and also you're le you're moving forward with yeah career in, in love. Well, I love when so um, confirmed like that. <laughs> and then we have um, false person. So this could have to do with that fox energy. Yeah, you could be um, separating from someone. It could be anything. It could be a boss, a lover, a friendship. There could be an ending of a friendship or, or some sort of relationship here where they were false. They weren't authentic. They had a hidden agenda. They were taking from you, using you in some sort of way. Um, that's coming to light and that is ending. But that's actually a great thing because now you're able to move forward in a, a better relationship, a better job, um, a better place overall. We have mature man on the bottom here. So this could be maybe um, some an older man coming into your life or you're just feeling more mature yourself and not, now you're able to really move forward and get that clarity and level up in life. I keep saying that, but that's the energy I'm feeling. There is a leveling up here. It's the end of a phase of struggle. The end of a phase of dealing with people who are immature that aren't there for you, that are just icky, like, you know, have their own... They just want something from you and that not the best from you, you know what I mean? Um, and now you're going to be, like, a lot of you could be meeting someone that is, like, a long-term partner. Because, look, there are these two lovers, they're in stone here. This is long-term jobs. They mate for life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, transformation in your relationships. Remember in the very beginning we said there's transformations coming this month. Yours really seem to be in your relationship, but also, um, yeah, there's this component of, um, a better, um, work environment, a better pay, just leveling up in your career, your occupation in some sort of way. So an end of bad relationships and the beginning of some s solid relationships here, someone you can depend on, someone you can get, a, you know, that's always there for you. Yeah. 
Yep. So yeah, don't feel bad if something's exposed about someone, you get insight on someone, it's going to lead you to where you're meant to be to something, someone so much better, so much better. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to clear these cards to make way for more car <laughs> more decks here. Let's get a couple of these. Spirit, anything else group number two should know about the month of July? Garden beds. Sometimes it's difficult to see how hard you're working when you don't provide space for reflection. Ooh, okay. Hummingbird. The winds beneath your wings are shifting. If you don't pay attention, you might lose flight. Oh my god, spirit's really calling you to pay attention to something here. It's sometimes difficult to see how hard you're working. It's, it, you know, um, pay attention or you might lose flight. You might be putting a lot of attention into something or a lot of energy into something that isn't aligned with you. Work and or relationships. And things, spirit's trying to bring in some blessings um, for you. A better work environment, a better lover, a better friendship. And you might be closing your eyes and not seeing the problems with your current situation here. That maybe, you know, someone's kind of a, a player or um, you're not being treated or being compensated the way you should or people aren't are stealing your work. What It's going to be different for each person. But it's like open your eyes like to the like to your current situation and in shift like go with the shift of things, you know. You don't need to work so hard for a relationship, you know. Maybe there's someone that just isn't the best for you, but you keep putting all this energy towards it, hoping they'll change. But seriously, so like, open your eyes, group number two. Mm -hmm. There's so much better out there, and Spirit's trying to bless you with so much. And I feel like there's definitely this, this message coming through to, to realize that. Hanging baskets. Lean into the essence of receiving for there await the things you've been telling yourself are out of reach. Yes, you be open to receiving the blessing. Spirit wants to bring you a better relationship. Spirit wants to bring you more money. Spirit wants to give you the job you want, the friendships you want, whatever it is. You might think, oh, that, you know, that's too good to be true. No, that's a, that's a limited belief. Spirit wants you to... To believe that it's possible and to believe you're worthy. There's like a little fox there. We had a fox earlier. I feel like spirits like open your eyes. There are so many possibilities, so many options, so many blessings. So much more for you. So much. Let's see. Is there any message on the bottom? I want to take in mermaid. Let the allure of the mystical, mythical siren seduce your curiosity. Magic awaits. Magic awaits for real. Wow, your life is going to transform. It's like spirit wants you to realize that life is just so beautiful and magical. And you don't need to settle for bad relationships, bad friendships, bad jobs. Because there's just so much out there. And I feel like that's a big part of this transformation coming for you in July. You're going to be realizing that. And things are really going to start shifting for you. What else, Spirit, for group number... Ooh, I love it! <laughs> number two, the sun. There is so much happiness here. And look, this is like happiness after a tough time. Success after struggle. We have Leo energy here. We are entering um, Leo season by the end of the month, right? So that could be around the time you see these major shifts happen. And then we have the two of wands, or two of spirals, in reverse here. I feel like the, the two sometimes can have to do with choices. Like, you are not limited in your choices, you know. They're, you are limitless. And it's time to, to realize that and to shift and make choices, make decisions, plan ahead. And when things get tough or delayed or things happen, don't just give up or say, oh, well, I guess it's not meant to be. Because you are meant for more. You are meant for something, someone better that fulfills you, that makes you happy. We have the Ace of Stones in reverse. Yeah, there could be something here really with some of you guys also um, shifting jobs. If you're, you know, that'll be 
if you are really unhappy where you are now. The Queen of Mirrors, the Queen of Cups upright. So we have Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like you're really headed into a better emotional space. The Nine of Spirals. But yeah, some of you guys just feel like you, you're you like maybe feeling defeated, run down. Don't give up. Don't give up. And then we have the Page of Wands in reverse, the Mime. So then we have Fire Energy coming through, again, Leo, and then Aries and Sagittarius. And then we have the Tower in reverse on the bottom. You're you're rebuilding. This You're entering a rebuilding phase in your life, or you're rebuilding your relationships, your job, your life in general. And this is a great thing because now you're picking up the pieces and you're building a happier life, more joyful relationships. If you guys have been going through tough times, maybe you already did lose a job or a relationship, you are now entering the next phase where you are building yourself up. You're not crumbling. You're going to be feeling a lot more happiness, better friendship, you know, better connections. You're going to be feeling better emotionally, creatively. Mm hmm yeah, maybe things like you kept trying to make something else work in the past and it wasn't working. And now like you're realizing maybe that isn't for me or something. Um, and I feel like this could be a relationships for a lot of people, maybe certain jobs. But you're really getting clarity this month on how to move forward and what needs to go, what you need to focus your attention on. There's so much happiness and joy coming in, in better emotional states for you guys. Mm -hmm. You're coming out the other end of a tough time. Right? So um, we have like Scorpio energy coming through as well um, again. Now let's see what astrological signs are. Um, well, I split the deck and I see the sun and the moon. We have like counterparts here. <laughs> um, more like Leo energy and Cancer energy, which again came through. But I feel like you really could be meeting your counterpart this month. That's definitely a theme for the collective. Uh, but let's see what astrological signs are um, important this month for you. So this could be confirmation of your sign or someone coming into your life or who's um, becoming more of a part of your life or it could be additional messages as well. This could be the signs in your main three, so your, your sun, moon, rising or theirs. What astrological energy is important the month of July, fruit number two. Wow, the sun really wanted to come out. So we have the sun here twice. Leo energy is really emphasized. This could also be emphasizing the start of Leo season is really important when these shifts really happen for you. And then we have Virgo. And you know, Virgo makes you think of like sixth house energy, which is like our work as well um, and our health. I feel like a lot of you guys could be really taking better care of your health, feeling um, better, especially mentally, but physically as well. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Jupiter. This is good luck, abundance, expansion, positivity. This is such a good shift. You know, it it really is going to lead to such good things. Now let's get some tea leaves out for you. And Jupiter is um, also Sagittarius in Pisces energy. Oh, something flipped over. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, Virgo is hardworking energy. I was kind of thinking that too. With that two spirals in reverse, remember we were talking about like making decisions, making choices, not settling. If you want things to get better, some effort is needed, but it's not going to be hard. There's so much expansion coming with this, so much happiness. Well, I split the deck and I see re recognition, reward, merit. And then we have... Um, oppor new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up for you. They are. Great personal sorrow. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really overcoming something. We have the teardrop here. You're coming out the other side of something that's been really upsetting for you. Uh, could be, you know, some relationship that didn't work out, a job loss or something like that. Just loneliness. The sun, oh, that tear up here in this, you're, it's signifying that you are moving into happier days here. Um, some of you guys could be making more money here as well. We have money or property through inheritance, winning or windfall. So if some of you guys, there's going to be new opportunities or just a surplus of money coming in. 
But look, also reward for merit. This is like increase your efforts and you will be rewarded. Put yourself out there. Um, let go of people who are not good for you. Apply for those jobs. Um, start working out, join a dating site, whatever it is. You will Putting your efforts and your energy towards what it is you want is when you're getting these new opportunities and these new pathways are opening up, this money, this love, the relationships. That is how you are going to receive what you want. You're, it just takes a little bit of effort. And again, there might be something here with letting some things go that are not, you know, that aren't working out for you, like negative relationships. And it might feel like it's it's upsetting here, but then you're going to be blessed with this Jupiter energy, with this sun energy, with something beautiful here. And you chose this black stone here, which is a protective stone. You are protected, group number two. You are rebuilding your life. You are in moving in the right direction. Things are improving. Things are transforming in the month of July. Now let's end your reading with an angel number and an angel message for you. Spirit, what final messages do you have for group number two? One, one, two, two. Wow, great shift. Things really are moving in such a good direction for you. Oh my goodness. This is total confirmation, group number two. You might start seeing this on the clock a lot too, 1122. So the keywords, personal growth, spiritual development, and manifesting goals, oneness, connection, and completion. First, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. <laughs> uh, then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. Spirit is triple confirming this, whatever quadruple we've been talking about. Where you put your energy towards, where it will really bring forth expansion in your life. There are so many positive shifts in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. So set your intentions. What is it you truly want? Get so clear and then put your energy, your focus, your actions towards that and watch your whole world shift in such a beautiful way. My beautiful group number twos. This month is so transformative. Can you feel that energy? I can. Spirit's confirming it here. Yes. Wow. Well, that concludes your reading. I hope this resonated. I hope you got the guidance, the messages, the insight you needed for the month ahead. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe. If you haven't already, like this video, leave a comment. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There is a code um, for my YouTube friends to save 11% on your first reading. That is code ABUNDANCE in all caps, but I'll leave all that information down below if you want to check it out or pass that along someone else you think will benefit from it. Thank you so, so much for being here, group number two. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so much. Have a great month, a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. I truly do love you, and I hope you are amazing and are feeling good after this because there's so many good things coming. <laughs> I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, group number three, to your reading. So July, we already said it's the month of transformations, but it's really clear now um, that this is a transformative month for relationships. So you could be really transforming a current relationship that you're in or calling in your ideal lover, partner, friendship. Um, we do have a lot of feminine energy here, but this could be you or um, the person you're calling in. It can go either way, but this is representative of your ideal partner, ideal friend, ideal person. There's so much loving energy coming in this month. Relationships are very highlighted. So we'll see what else wants to come through in this reading for you about relationships or anything else that is very highlighted, but definitely look forward to a month of positive transformations, positive shifts in relationships in your life, group number three. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. So we're going to start off with Lenormand. I love doing this with predictive readings to see what's going on this month. What's going on in July, Spirit, for group number three? Fox, interesting. It came out in group number um, two as well. And that's it too. <laughs> So, yeah. 
The facts can sometimes be like just something we've been really working hard on. It could be some problems, just daily struggles, daily grind, working hard. Um, I feel like you're really moving from a state of work, 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 struggle, struggle, struggle. You're moving forward to a place of success, clarity. You know, you know where you're going. You know what you want. You could be finding out some information this month that really helps you. This could be a great book you read, a reading you get, um, or watch on YouTube, or a conversation you have, or, or something you learn in any capacity that really helps move you from this place of like just barely getting by, like scrounging, working really hard to a place of ease and, and success and just feeling clear and confident on the path you are going. There could be some travel this month, but this travel could also be like an internal journey for most of you, but it could be, you know, external travel for some of you as well. Mm -hmm. There's definitely like movement from one phase of life to the next. Like we have these two tens here and also nines and ending number as well. It's the end of struggle, end of just like not knowing what you want. Cause the book can be like mysteries, the unknown. And then you're, you know, what you're moving towards is the star, which in Lenormand is clarity, insight, like just like knowing your purpose, knowing where you're going, knowing what you want. This is a really positive transformation to success, to clarity, to getting it, whatever it is that you are wanting and knowing how to get there. Okay, let's get some Cooper. Spirit, can you expand on this or tell us anything else? What's going on in July for group number three? Expectation. Unexpected income. Occupation. And on the bottom, we have false person. Okay, something could be revealed about a specific person in your life. This false person energy can also go with this fox a bit. Um, you, some people in this group, maybe you've been expecting, expecting someone in your life to change, to get better, to do this, to do that. Um, and maybe you've been waiting around for that. Uh, but, you know, maybe something's being revealed or you're just getting clarity on like, you know what, I'm not going to wait around for someone. I'm not going to expect someone to change. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to go on in my life, you know, and focus on me and what I want. And I feel like through that shift, like things are really going to change for you. Um, and also expect some money coming in unexpected. This could be since occupation came in after unexpected income, this could be like a, a random like bonus or raise or promotion or something coming through work. Um, but this money could really, um, you know, I feel like this is also like a shift in your perspective that like you're making so many internal shifts. You're learning so much about yourself. You're letting go of false personas, false people in your life. And you're, you know, you've been doing a lot of inner growth, inner work, and you're going to start to see manifestations of that. Like, money coming in, new relationships coming in, more job opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, expect some money. You could be getting more money this week and now you're able to travel or plan a trip as well. And that, this unexpected income can also be why you're moving away from this like barely getting by scrounging energy I'm picking up on to more of like a successful um like clear-minded energy here, happy energy, you know, very, very positive card here you're moving towards away from this. And I feel like spirit's clarifying. It's like you're moving away from maybe negative thoughts or hoping things will change to actually taking action. A lot of you are already in this energy of working on yourself, letting go of the masks and the thing, the people around you, the parts of you that aren't aligned with you. You've been really working on that, doing the shadow work, doing the journaling, all of that. And now things are really starting to shift and you're starting to see that in your outer world. So, wow. Yeah, expect a lot of positive shifts, a lot of success coming this month, a lot of money, a lot of 
shift in your relationship. This is a really positively transformative month. I feel like this is the month when like, you know, I know people I read for, we're, we we do inner work. We're spiritual. We, we've been doing it, you know, and I feel like we've been doing that for so long. And now we're starting to see outward positive results. We're starting to see manifestations come true. And I feel like this is so needed. So expect positive transformations and it's well-deserved. I love this. I love this. Okay, let's get some more um, cards out here. What other messages do you have for group number three spirit for July? What's going on in July? What messages, what guidance do you have? Let's take these three cards. Sunbathing. The dance of stillness is calling for you to live in its embrace. I feel like, yeah, maybe you, there is this like feeling that like, that grind, that hustle, that fox energy that was coming through. Now you're going to be able to have this stillness, this clarity, this light come in your life instead of all this chaos and, and whatever else has been going on. Roses, the soft petal felt upon your flesh is ready to lease her thorns. And look at that, that embrace, that, that couple, those people there. Your relationships are really improving. I feel like spirit wants me to come back around to that because we kind of shifted a little bit. And then we have butterflies. <laughs> There's a trans like so much transformative energy coming here. And I feel like for group number three, it's like in all areas of your life. Because it, it's like you've done all these shedding of the things that no longer are aligned with you. You know, you've, you've done all that inner work for real. I feel like this is my group. That you guys really have. Now the transformation's coming. You're breaking free of the chrysalis. You're about to spread your wings and fly, and things are really about to bloom, too, with these roses here to get so much lighter. But let's see what it says. Okay. And two, the number of companionship, right? And 30 breaks down to three, which is like community and communication. But here in the unknown, you will find the essence of who you really are and what magic awaits. Yeah, the unknown is what I'm thinking. Of. Like you've been in that chrysalis, the void. And now you're you're ready to move forward into the magic of life. And on the I want to look another couple here. Enter into the depths of intimacy, where the seeds of your desires will be nourished. Wow, you guys, there really is an intimate relationship being highlighted this month. Whether it's one you're in already or one coming into your life, your relationships are really deepening and blossoming, blooming, all the things. Um, this is really beautiful. Very beautiful. Spirit, what else? What's going on? The month of July for group number three. Oh, well, this came out like sideways here. Ace of Spirals, Six of Scrolls. The Six of Scrolls is the Six of Swords. This is that trans, like moving from that turbulent water to calm waters. This is a card of transition. That is like more confirmation of everything we've been saying is this transformation. And it's a transformation in a positive way to get moving away from this chaotic, turbulent energy to calm, to beauty, to love, to abundance to new beginnings that are passionate, fiery. <laughs> we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you, maybe you have had issues with love or you've been feeling lonely. One or the other, I feel like, you know, you've been in a relationship that's been rocky um, or you have been lonely. You are, either way, you're moving to calmer waters, you're moving to a new beginning with this person or with someone new. There's love coming connection I really do feel that July is a month of connection nine of mirrors and it's a month of wish fulfillment <laughs> your wishes are coming true that something you've been wanting 
an emotional thing you've been wanting for real. And I feel like a lot of you are like, when are things going to change? When am I going to like have this new beginning, this, this passion back in my life? In July. The Green Man. There is abundance. There is beauty here. The Green Man makes me really think about abundance. Yeah. Look at all these eggs. There's fertility here. Like there's even another butterfly. Look at all of these major arcanas. This is a big deal. Your life is shifting. A lot of you have been in hermit mode, have been alone, feeling lonely. And you're moving into the state of love, connection. And I feel like there is something here with, um, in the past, maybe things just haven't been the same in a little, maybe it's like you've just been hoping things will get better, like the expectation card, like, um, but there's something here with taking a bit of action with the emperor here. This is like masculine energy planning, action, and getting out of your comfort zone, you know, taking that movement, the six of scrolls is for movement and and going after the new beginnings, you know, letting go of limiting beliefs. And I feel like that is what you've been already working on, you know, <laughs> you've been working on letting go of limiting beliefs and that is what is shifting you. Um, and really believing that anything can happen, that you are worthy of your desires, that they are possible. And I feel like a lot of you, again, I've been working on that self-love, that the self-concept, all of that. And that is, you know, you're starting to see the shifts. Things are moving forward. Transformation is happening here. Abundance is happening. Love is happening. So especially those of you who have been feeling lonely, who have been feeling lack, you are moving out of that energy here. And also I feel like with the hermit in reverse, I feel like you guys have been in that hermit energy. You've been doing the inner work. You've been doing the reflection. You've been doing all that. And, you know, that can get lonely. And now you're coming out of that. You know, you don't need to spend so much time doing that anymore. You're starting to reap the benefits of that. So we have Gemini energy. We have Aries energy. It feels there's like some Capricorn energy here. Um, we're going to grab more astrology cards here. This can be confirmation of your um, big three or someone else that's coming into your life or a part of your life or further messages. We'll see what comes through. We have Taurus. And Pluto, transformation, baby. We, <laughs> we are transforming this month, I swear. Okay, that's Scorpio energy, but this is a month of transformation. I can't say it enough. And then we have Aquarius energy, too. Aries you know, is coming through that felt relevant. You guys, there is so much transformation coming this month. And it is something because you've been doing, you've been in that Scorpio, that, that, that energy of like doing, like really going within. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like you're moving towards this Taurus energy where you're able to really enjoy the earthly pleasures like relationships, sensuality, like food, whatever pleasure is to you. Be more grounded in your body and not deep in this, you know, spiritual realm. What else, spirit? What's going on in July for group number three? <laughs> bag. Get that bag, girl. Something important such as a new job or raise. Ooh. Seriously, you're seeing the outer reflection that fair woman. Wow. Okay. So the Queen of Hearts, I don't think I said this, but if you're thinking of like how people look, the Queen of Hearts would be a fair woman. Like the Queen of Clubs we had in the last reading was a dark featured woman. So this is coming up twice. Um, so this could be you or someone coming into your life or someone already in your life that's more prevalent this much, this month. <laughs> Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. The other half of the deck here. What's going on in July for group number three, Spirit? <gasps> I love this girl. Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yes, you guys are very intuitive. You have an inner knowing. You know, I feel like you guys know it's time to get out of that chrysalis. It's time to get out of that void. It's time to spread your wings and fly. And you know this. And this is confirmation. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You are very intuitive. Wow. And then we have dark man here. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Yeah. Relationships are very highlighted, like I said. Oh, my gosh. For real. Should we get one more? I 
feel like that month card keeps wanting to come out, but we're talking about July here. Do we need feeling tied down or frustrated? It's time to break free. That is what this Pluto energy is breaking us free of what is no longer aligned with us. Use your intuition. You know, you guys, I feel like this is confirmation. You guys know there's change needed. You know, there's change coming. You're breaking free of limited beliefs. You're breaking free of the relationships, jobs, or whatever that has been tying you down. You're moving towards better relationships, new jobs, you know, beneficial changes, whatever is necessary in your in your life. No more being tied down or frustrated. Taking control. The emperor, like we're taking control. Collectively, group number three, you guys especially, you're taking control of of, you know, instead of just being like, oh, this is life, I guess, you know, no, this is my life. Yeah, it is life. So why, why would I stay tied down somewhere I don't want? Why would I stay in an unhappy state? Now is the time to take action and make the changes I'm feeling, feeling intuitively are coming that I'm, that are needed. Moving towards our wish fulfillment, our emotional fulfillment, towards love, towards abundance, whatever it is we desire. We have these desires for a reason. All right, let's wrap up your reading with an angel number and angel message spirit. What final message do you have for group number three? One, three, three, one. Good fortune. Ooh, advice, comfort, major change, individuality, independence. Uh, have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. A piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or comforting messages on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. I feel like this could be your moment of enlightenment, maybe, or like another reading you, you get sooner, something you read, you know, some information you get. And know that you are ready for the next phase. Have faith in your skills and talents. You guys really have been doing the inner work, like I said. You know, you're you're ready to implement all you've learned. You're ready to 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 just instead of just keep learning more and doing more and more, like, you know, um, it's time to apply what you've learned. And really that is what's going to bring you this great fortune. It's going to lead you to the love, to the money, to the job, to this, whatever it is. Everything is going to work out in your favor, especially when you start to believe it and follow your intuition because it is leading you there. Group number three, this is such a powerful month of transformation. I can't say it enough. I feel it so deeply and I feel like a lot of you guys could feel it too. I know you guys are empathic. You're intuitive. Are you feeling this? There is a shift coming. <laughs> Let's make it happen for the best. You know, it's much deserved, much needed, right? Wow. Well, I hope that resonated. I hope you feel this energy too. I hope you got the guidance, the insight you needed for the month ahead. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, leave a comment. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There's a code for my YouTube friends to save 11% on your first reading. It's abundance in all caps. I'll leave that down below in the description uh, in case you want to check it out or or share that with someone you think will benefit. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Group Number 3. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. Have a great month, a great day, great night. Whenever you're watching this, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.